Once you've mastered the basics of the iPad, you might want to try a couple of other things. So one of the first things I'm going to show you is how to take a screenshot on the iPad. What a screenshot is, is you can basically take a static image of whatever you see on the screen and use it in any other application. So let's say, for example, I have my home screen here and I want to take a picture of it. What I can do is press the home button and the power button simultaneously. So this button and this button at the same time. Watch and listen. You're going to hear a camera shutter noise and you're going to see a flash. There you go. So now, in order to see that I've taken my screenshot, I'm going to go inside my photo library. And if you look down at the bottom right over here, I now have a picture of my home screen. So I can do whatever I want with it, I can bring it into any other application, manipulate it, and so on. The next thing I'd like to show you is how to copy and paste text from a web page or anything else on the iPad, anywhere where you see text. So for that one, I'm going to go inside Safari and let's bring up any old web page. So let's say over here this first paragraph. I really like what it has to say and I want to copy and paste that into my notes. What I'm going to do is take my finger and I'm going to place it on the first word and I'm going to hold it there. As you see you'll have a little tiny bubble which is going to pop up. If I let go the first word is highlighted. I'm going to drag this little blue dot over here until the end of the paragraph and then let go. Next, I click on copy. I'm going to exit this app. I'm going to go inside my notes. I'm going to click where I want to put the text. Hold my finger down and choose paste. Done. Now once I've pasted my text, I may want to insert a cursor and do some further edits. To do so, to position the cursor is rather straightforward. All you need to do is take your finger, place it on the iPad screen where you want the cursor to appear. So as you can see in that bubble, if you look carefully, there's a little cursor wherever I leave my finger. So let's say I want to put the cursor in between the word it and response. I just slide it over, let go, and now I can type whatever I want. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to save a picture from a web page. So let's say I'm in Safari and this picture of this iPad mini. I really want to save that to my camera roll. All I do is simply hold my finger down. I'm going to choose Save Image. Save Image will now save that into my camera roll. If I exit this app, go inside my photo roll, and as you'll see right on the bottom there, there is my image of the iPad mini.